In the last episode of Frankfurt Kremod, we managed to make the two youth academy players from uh, Serbia. They look absolute beast, uh, both valued at over a million and also continue at a terrible form in the league, losing to Hoffenheim and Wolfsburg, and we managed to finish second place in the Europa League. Hey guys, welcome to episode 11th of the Frankfurt Camera. In today's episode, we'll be finishing up the month of December. As you can see, we have the game against RB Leipzig. Um, some difficult games, and we'll also be uh, heading into January transfer window in this episode. I will be making one sign, and if you guys already seen by the title, it's going to be Jonathan David. I'm already uh, negotiating in, pro uh, in progress with him, so hopefully we can land a deal. And Duban Zapata is maybe packing to uh, Bergamo. Who knows, but I'll see you guys at the game against RB Leipzig. Our first game at the episode will be against RB Leipzig away at the Red Bull Arena in Leipzig. Leipzig, we did lose to them in the final last year, so I'm looking to get some revenge as they started strong here. Getting a good goal from the former man, Andre Silva, um, terrible defending from Massa, and that has to do a lot with the new patch they added, the gameplay patch. So that's why last episode I was like, what is wrong with the team? Like, I don't really play like this, but I found out later that it was the new patch, and it's going to be hard getting used to as they double up the elite there courtesy from uh, Andre Silva again and this was the only highlight in the first half we had and it was a goal called the offside by La Jasper Lindstrom there and I believe they did get a goal here no no it was it was not okay it was a great save from um, Kevin Trapp uh, the shot there from Dominic Seboslai and to be honest Airbnb Labs were the better team and they just controlled the game more and we, couldn't, we didn't even have a single question to defend them they were just attack attack the pressure was so much we couldn't even contain so and um, thanks to uh, Kevin Trapp that we made a lot of save there and I don't know terrible mistake here from Kevin in DK and it falls to Antonio I think it's Antonio from West Ham and he makes it 3-0 or 2-0 uh, okay the glitch on the scoreline is 3-0 actually and they did add up to make it four and this time is uh, Andre Silva he makes it hatchet for him and we have no questions this is the first time I've conceded four goals before the 60th minute so this should be a record as from the end I think from that point on I've switched and tweaked some tactics and then I was thinking of maybe switching to fourth the back but when I don't have the players to suit that formation as um, Leipzig get a well-deserved dub here and Andre Silva with the hat-trick. Here we go, our next game is going to be the last game of the Europe League against FC Zurich. So if we can win this, we'll guarantee ourselves a top spot. I mean, I'm not going to replace some of the teams, but I will make some changes. Bring on this guy and Salazar has been good, so I'll bring him on. And yeah, that's the only change they'll make. Hopefully we can pick up a win here. We do a 4-1 win, uh, Twitter with the goal. Our next game will be against Hertha Berlin, who currently sit in 12th place, so a win will help us nicely. Quick sim this, hopefully we can get a win against, uh, no, we do get a draw, but Duvan is on fire scoring for the last two games. The game to quick sim will be this game against Bellefield, they currently sit in 15th place. Um, at this point, I don't even know what I'm wishing for, a win, okay, we do get a Duvan Sabata again with the goal, so as soon as we sell him, he started to perform again. I don't know what this is, but we'll find out in the next game against Bayer Leverkusen. Here we go. This game against Bayer Leverkusen, they're currently sitting, uh, I believe it was top four. So if we can get a win here, that would be really nice uh, to boost our confidence and maybe continue or stay alive or push for a top four as they get a good chance there. Not a good shot there, but it's equal to by Kevin Trapp. And they will get their first goal of the game here in the 90th minute. I can't remember who scored, but we do continue this trend of just scoring, I mean, conceding early in the games. I don't know. It sometimes it just happens. I think get a good chance here. Frank gets here there with a terrible shot and it just goes way, way off as we get a good chance here this time. Duban Sapata finding the back of the net and finally he found his shooting boots, I think. He scored two games, I mean two goals last game, so he's in a, 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 a really nice form as we make it two for two here and this time it's Gwendouzi. Two back-to-back -back goals with our response, um, really nice to see that as they get a good chance here. I don't know how they didn't score, the nice shot is equal to by Kevin Trapp there. And the whole tactics in this game was just taking shots from outside the box as we really defended in our box there. And Kevin Trapp making an unbelievable save from top draw there as... This goal, uh, the ball goes up for a corner there, and we did get a good, good chance here. Um, I don't know how Alex didn't score from that close, but great save from the former 
I'm Jack Man in uh, Hedadeki, the Finnish. I don't know if I said his name, Hedadeki or Hedadeki, but that's besides the point as they get a good chance here as um, Leverkusen playing outside the box, taking shots, this whole, that was the whole game, taking shots outside the box, but we do pick up a 2-1 win, vamos! crucial, so give him five years, hopefully, yep, he's ready, uh, disregard release clause, so we each will give him, uh, give him 79, how about that, take it, uh, and a new sign is going to be Jonathan David for it. 35 million plus Duban Sabat. Here's a visual confirmation. Uh, Jonathan David, welcome to um, Iron Track Frankfurt. I was about to say welcome to Real Valladolid. I don't know why I said that, but Jonathan David, welcome to. That's Frank going to be against SC Freiburg. So let's play this. I'll be also starting uh, um, Philip Kostas. He's back from his injury and he went down crazy, like plus, minus three. So hopefully he can get his sharpness back. Uh, it's a 2-2 draw for us. Here we go. Our next game will be against FC Bayern, who currently sit in second place. So, coming into this game, both teams are needing a win here. We need a win to guarantee or maybe keep our hopes alive for top four. And they need a win to challenge Dortmund, who sit in first place, as we can see the first goal there. Terrible communication from the defender and the goalkeeper there, leading to a, a Robert Lewandowski header, as they kept on getting chances outside the box. But... Another great save from uh, Kevin Trapp, they're really showing why he's the best goalkeeper. I've, he's probably the, the best goalkeeper I've used <coughs> in terms of save uh, percentage as we can see the goal there. Nice shot from Muller from outside the box and he goes in the top corner and we do get some uh, moment chance here as they get a good chance here. I'm um, Jonathan David with the header but it's a great save from Manuel Neuer there as we get a good chance here. Talk about this goal from the defender. Um, Ivan Indica with his left foot finding the top corner. I don't know how Manuel Neuer can make those saves, but we do again another goal here. This time we make it 2 2. It's the same type of goal again going in the bottom, and Manuel Neuer can't save it. And we look like we just turned the game on its head. And we have the momentum here as they get a good chance here. Nice acrobatic shot from Sonny. We know he can hit those as he hit it some episode ago. I can't remember which episode, but we will get the chair on top here. Jonathan David on his. Second debut, I think, makes it 3-2 in the 78th minute to complete a really nice comeback there. As we get a free kick here, by the way, Philip Coach is back for his, from his injury, and uh, this is the second game he played. So I'm coming off the, I'm I'm coming him off the bench so he can get some sharpness as we make it 4-2 here. The rebound falls to Mustafa Mukoko, and he makes it 3-2 in the 85th minute, and we look like we'll be picking up. A great milestone win and I, I did forget we did get a good chance in the 90th minute as well we could have easily made this game five or six goals but yeah some of the some of the chances we had um, were great saves from Manuel Neuer as we get a corner here passing it to Philip Kostic I'm um, happy to have him back but he went down plus three I think minus three I think I showed you guys but yeah they, I think it's fairly realistic but we do pick up a milestone win against Bayern Another back-to-back -back game against FC Bayern, this time at home in the quarterfinals of the German Cup. So, I'm hoping to win it again. It would be nice to win the trophy back-to-back, -back, but I'm not really put emphasis on it. So, I'm just focusing on the Europa League this season, as we can see the first goal there. Martin, Martin, Martin Garex, I don't know how to say his name, but he makes it 1-0 as they get a good chance here. Nice shot from Sane, but it's saved by Kevin Trapp there. The, this game was the most dead game I've played in a while. No real chances. The team playing so defensively there. And the chances we got were far and few between us. We get a good chance in the 65th minute. Nice shot from Yusufu Mukoko, but a great save from Manuel Noyes. We get a good chance. I mean, they get a good chance here. And luckily, it's a goal. So it, it was coming, but we are knocked out of the German Cup. But it doesn't really matter, to be honest. For us, Jeremiah St. Giuste. I swapped uh, Edgar Herrera who is 20 million plus 6 million I think so yeah welcome to the club uh, the fastest center back in FIFA history St. Eustace for this January transfer window team of Werner was actually a player I was considering he moved to uh, Atletico Madrid for 103 million um, who else here Paulinho to Spurs uh, Patrick Schick to Chelsea for 69 million Nun Mensch to Napoli some good transfers going on. Uh, poor Van de Beek is off to Leicester City. Hopefully, he can get some minutes. But here's how the team is looking like at the moment. As you can see, I'm I'm already liking uh, Jonathan David after the episode he had, and I was saying, "Oh, wow, really coming nice."
and also have signed uh, as in Houston. Look at that pace, 80, 93 pace for a center back is absolutely OP. Currently sitting in eighth place, uh, fam familiar position from last year. We have 31 points this time, and the gap between us and sixth place is only three points. So hopefully we can make a good comeback the next half of the season and maybe finish Champions League spot. And let me show you the relegated side. They're not really relegated, but in a dogfight, that Schalke and Werder Bremen and Goethe fourth. And in the DFP Pokal, we did get knocked out by Bayern in the quarterfinals. I don't really care because we won it last year. So I want to focus more on the Europa League and the league. So quickly show you guys the Europa League who we matched. So in the group stage, we finished in second. So that means we'll be going in the round of 32. So we'll be going against Spartak, Moscow. Um, yeah, we'll see. Next episode, we'll be taking on them, I think. Yeah, but um, what else do I need to show you guys? I think that's about it, but... I'll see you guys at the play at the episode. Goes to Jonathan David, the Canadian absolute beast. Uh, he came on here and absolutely scored on his debut, I think. So I'm looking forward to having him. And if you made it this far into the episode, make sure you leave a like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next episode.